In this video, we'll be going through what each setting is used for in the Overlap Control Setup page. The purpose of Overlap Control on the Pro 700 and IntelliV4 display is to determine what sections are to be turned either on or off where product application has already occurred. The theory behind this operation is that the display will command the appropriate implement section or sections to turn off as the implement enters an applied area and then turned on again if the implement travels into an area where no product application has occurred. To start, we must navigate our way back to the main menu, then into Toolbox, and then into Overlap. Once in the Overlap setup, you'll notice a list of options and settings to be adjusted. Overlap Control is used to enable or disable automatic overlap for areas where product has already been applied. When this is turned on, this will enable automatic overlap control. And when it is turned off, it will disable automatic overlap control. The boundary control window is used to enable or disable boundary control. When enabled, this will turn the sections off when crossing the field boundary. Then when it is turned off, it will then allow you to keep applying your products past the field boundary. The select section control layer is used to modify the behavior of section control based on operator inputs. When the coverage is selected, section control considers combined mapping of all the layers to determine overlap region. Then, when any of the other layer options, whether that be tank 1, tank 2, tank 3, or tank A are selected, only that layer is taken into consideration. All the other remaining layers are ignored. The percent out of bounds window is used to enter a percentage that a section can be outside of a boundary before it is turned off. In this example, the implement will be allowed to travel 50% over the field boundary before the sections turn off. The percent overlap is used to adjust the percentage for how much overlap must be present before a section or sections are turned off. In this video, this is set to 99%. So all the sections need to be 99% over the already applied area before they'll turn off. The start early distance window is used to change the default setting for when the product drives are started relative to the applied field area. In this example, we'll set this to 2 meters. So the product drive will start 2 meters before entering the unapplied area. The same goes for the stop late distance. This window is used to change the default setting for when the product drives are stopped when entering an applied area. So in this video, we'll set this to 2 meters, so that it will overlap by 2 meters into the already applied area. Once you have set your start early and stop late distance, it is advised to double check to make sure you are not over applying or under applying your product. 